Okay, continuing from last time. So we had up to here. There's actually a little more going on there in the right hand. The right hand is going to start up here. Okay, so now when does that happen? When the left hand plays the D the second time, the right hand uses the fourth finger on the B flat and then comes down to the A. So let's do this slowly from here. And now the right hand is going to do something like this. So it's just a little scale on the way down. Fourth finger on the A, and it's going to run straight down. Four, three, two, one. A, G, F, E, and then it's going to cross over with the third finger to the D and then the C. Again. Okay, so we have. Notice I hit that F again in the left hand. Uh, I didn't play any more than that in the left hand because the next part's going to change. So the left hand now goes F, E. It's the first part, F, E. But then it's going to hit kind of a strange chord. It's going to hit an F, G, and B flat at the same time. So F with the pinky or fifth finger, G with the fourth finger, and a B flat with the second finger. And then it's going to bounce back and forth between this weird chord and the E with the thumb. that. Sounds kind of terrible by itself, but in the context of the song, it sounds very nice. So we have. And then. One more time, nice and slow. Then the right hand after that is going to hit B flat A. B flat A. With fingers three and two. Again. left hand is going to once again play that first arpeggiated part from this movement. So we have. And now the whole part. <laughs> 